Ouais. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Adam Southie Guy Paranormal. Uh, out on a massive limb tonight. The weather is absolutely atrocious. Uh, it's wet, it's a bit windy. Not too bad. Um, but we're going to see if we can resolve what happened to Patricia Parsons and maybe help if she needs it. So that's what we're going to do tonight. It's just me and Rudy. Uh, he's back with us again. He's hiding behind the camera at the moment. But pointing his, his eye highlight at me <laughs> uh, and, and his new um, no expense spare Chinese camera <laughs> so uh, yeah it's just me and Rudy tonight and we're gonna see if we can get any responses again um, it goes through back running uh, it's literally equipment is a bare minimum um, literally it's just a cat down there which yeah, it is working um, I'm hoping the wind's not going to affect it because obviously you can see the branch moving so we're hoping that's not going to cause an issue but we're just we're, we're, we're literally going to play it by ear tonight see if anything comes through now Rudy did uh, as I was driving up here Rudy did pick up on Patricia uh, and a few things about her um, mainly su surrounding the black book that she had uh, which I think was the source of the reason why the, what happened to her did. So, as I say, we're going to try and hopefully encourage Patricia to come through to us tonight and see if we can get any answers for her. Um, and as I say, maybe it might help her in, this, in the process. So, um, anyway, let's see what happens, eh? Not recently. Not recently. No, I'm not going to turn the camera around on here as well. That's it. All right, that's better. Right. Back under it if you want. Okay. <laughs> so basically, we're going to sit behind the camera because I've got the umbrella covering the camera. Um, I can't sort of stand in both places at once, so uh, that's literally what we're doing. Now... Right, what's... Uh... Yeah, um... Yeah, I see uh, we're getting a impression of uh, more than one person. Yeah. A uh, couple of fellas uh, with a uh, woman and being a sort of carried over here. Yeah. All right. And, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know, um, is, is, was there a, a suffocation involved here? Um, suffocation. Now, um, as in a plastic bag I thought, or something, something quite, you know. I didn't even think about that. Uh, I, I get a kind of suffocation, like, you know, whether it was a, a, a way of terrifying her before they actually, um, or whether she was dead when I brought her over, um, I, I, I can't quite get that. But I, I get there was a kind of suffocation, like a plastic bag placed over her head. I yeah. I don't know. All just went off. I don't know if that's yet. If that's the um. I don't know if that was the wind or whether you or you, you got the, onto something oh, I hit then. On my, I hit on my spot. Yeah. Hello. Um. Patricia, can you come forward? We would like to uh, find out what happened to you. Um, we would appreciate if you would come forward and let us know you're here and um, give us some indication. Thank you. God bless. Patricia, it's Adam. Um, hopefully you remember me from a little while ago. I came over here basically looking at what happened to you and the surrounding area and hopefully tried to get some communication with you. Back then I was on my own, so that... Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. That's, uh, thank you for that sign. Um, thanks. We've got your message there, yeah. Uh, was it, 
for you asphyxiate you. Yeah, that's a good yes, mm. uh, Asphyxiation I'm picking up with you, my dear. Um, I'm sorry that that was the um, the case, um, but you're here now to tell me, you can tell the story of what happened to you and those that start. Monsters. Start. Yeah, as, as I said, Patricia, we are, uh, you know, we pilot. Pilot. Was there a, uh, did you have a pilot on your book? Was the black book significant in why and what happened to you? Because I get the names in the book that were significant uh, and why that they did what they did to you. Let us know if this is um, uh, the right line of uh, investigation that they're following. Yeah, um, now I believe my friend Esme has already managed to talk to you. Uh, if you could acknowledge that, if you could acknowledge that in any way, yeah, duck under here. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, if you can acknowledge my friend Esme talking to you prior to us Keep coming. Going. Keep going. We are. Um, yeah, if, if you can acknowledge that my friend Esme spoke to you prior to us coming here tonight. Now, Esme was going to try and come with us. Um, she is a busy lady, unfortunately. So um, we're trying our best tonight to maybe get some... Try and get some answers if you can. As I say, you can talk to my friend Rudy here. He's a good man. He's only only here to help you, just the same as I am. We want to bring this out into the open, obviously. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. God bless you. And um, to lay this to rest for your for your soul. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. Again. Okay. Um. <laughs> This is good, this is good uh, indication wow. that we're on the right track. Yeah. Uh, and we're and. only too happy to help you. Oh, X. X. I don't know if that's. It could be the rain's doing that. Yeah. The rain. Yeah. Rain. Yeah. I think it could be the rain that's doing that. But anyway. But, um, I mean, what we could do. I was invited to come and talk in the car. Yeah. Because okay. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, Patricia, we would invite you to come over to our car and you can talk to us there. All right. Happy to mediate. Yeah, yeah, and we would do our, our level best to help you out. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Photo. Photo. Hang on. I don't know if I can take a... can I? Yeah, I think that could well be the rain setting it off. Oh, we never know, will we? <laughs> right. It's more likely to be. Right. Okay. Right, well, that's what we're going to do then. Come on, Oh, shit. Alright, let's head back. <laughs> that is going... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. 
Who? Who? <laughs> That's it, right. <laughs> I thought, oh, we've got a break in the rain. Maybe someone is finding on us. Not to be. Yeah. Stephen. Stephen. Is um, <laughs> yeah, all right. If I do that, what I'm gonna do, yeah, just chuck that one in there, it's dry. Oh, this yeah. is horrible, it's not nice, mate. <laughs> you could have picked a better night, but there you go. Well, you don't know until you No. Oh, that is only that battery, that, that night was Just when I thought, ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. Well, it's possible the early ones could have been. Um, well, I don't, you don't, you don't know, do no. you? The thing with it. You can only presume, but you don't yeah. know. <laughs> Actually, no, I've got to run. <laughs> uh, uh, very, very mad. Oh, Talk about getting wet. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. Alright, if I put that there, that there, oh, don't fall down there. Bloody thing. So your seat's going to get now. Yeah. Uh, why did you fall down there? That's me. You little fucker. <laughs> Excuse my French. <laughs> ah. Right. Oh, I'll just chuck you down there, man. Yeah. Oh, that ain't good. That's not right, mate. Not that ain't good, man. That ain't good. We still got some information. Yeah. I think it might be a case of coming back, to be honest. Yeah, I think so. Well, we'll try from here. Mm. <laughs> I don't even know. How are you going to do that? I'll just take the light off, I think. Yeah. I think you turn the light off and uh, he's got night vision anyway. That's true. Don't need that. He'll just blow it in the what is the date? Um, November the 16th, 2022. <laughs> oh, great. It's fucking up. There's another card. Yeah, it's come out a bit of Doggy, doggy. Oh, don't tell me. <sighs> right, police car. Oh, no. No. Nah. <sighs> All right. Come on. Oh, don't tell me that's stuck. Never mind. No, right, let's just work with this. Switch the camera around. Well, it makes a lot of difference. Uh, what are you doing, of? Oh, oh we just hit the manual focus. Ah, there we go. We're back on. We're back in the game. Closet. Singing. Closet and singing. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, I don't think that's uh, anything to do with it. I'm no. lost. <laughs> All right. So basically, this is the state of play. It's absolutely pissing down out there. Now we could deal with a little bit of rain, maybe, but it just the heavens sort of open. So uh, we've retreated to the car. We're going to see what we can do. See if anything could come through while we're in here. Um, I have seen this before um, on one or two other channels. So we'll, we'll just see what happens. Now, um, Patricia, if, if you are here, um, we are welcoming you to come and talk to us. Uh, Give us any information that you can. Um, you can talk to Rudy here. He will help you. Uh, yeah. Um, I've been shown um, a lot of jewellery was involved uh, with this person. She liked uh, the good life. Um, jewellery, necklaces diamonds uh i think she was a high class kind of cool girl i'll get that impression and she had a black book uh, that had lots of names sensitive information and she dealt with a lot of, uh some let's put it this way some dubious clients and obviously these these clients didn't want to get found behind out behind you behind you oh Yep. And um, they thought, well, we need to uh, silence this person. She knows too much. And I get there was a couple of people that took her to this part of the woods where whether she was killed before she uh, got here, then they dumped her. I get the asphyxi asphyxiation with plastic bag over her head. And... Um, I don't know what she was wearing, but I, I can assume uh, I'll get a fur coat of some kind. Um, I don't know how she was found. Uh, might be wrong, but that's what I've been shown. And she laid there for a while. Um, and um, uh, Sorry, female. Yeah, that's right. She was female. <laughs> Hmm. And um, that was it. That's what I was what I was being shown. Um, that's all I can sort of say. She liked the high life. She enjoyed the work. She had the money, but she had the black book, which was quite sensitive to some people. They didn't want to be discovered, so they decided that she knew too much, and that was it. Okay, I'm just going to do oh, what I can if I'm sitting in the car. I can get out the, the rem, um, EMF meter, mm. um, which might help. Um, what I will do, put my phone, turn the mobile data off. Oh! <clears throat> turn the mobile data off. Because that's what sets off the um, EMF meter. That one. Right. It's a shame there's no way I can really put this. Um. I think I'll do is put it on the. I mean, it just said behind me, I could put it on the parcel shelf. I think I'll do that. Passing motorists are going to think we're in the disco. <laughs> yeah. Grandmother. 
Oh. Right. Boat. Boat. Morning. In morning. Well, yeah. I'm sort of morning, morning, what happened to you? Ah, come here. Ah, fake packets. Okay, so, um, yeah, if, if any of what we said, Patricia, has got through to you, uh, has resonated, um, yeah, talk to us, um, you know, we're, we're here, we're here to get your story out tell if, and tell everyone what happened, um, did you know the people who, who uh, kidnapped and did what they did to you, what did they do to you exactly? Because we know from the um, post-mortem that you were shot in the head three times with what looks like a crossbow. And that you was also beaten up. Um, so was you also asphyxiated as well? Because that was what Rudy was getting. So did that happen as well? Well, that could have been after, after the fact, couldn't it? After, you know, to make it look like that. Oh, the, the, the crossbow was made to look yeah. like she was killed with a crossbow, yeah, but she was yeah. asphy asphyxiated. Actually, she was asphyxiated, yeah. Um, that's that's what I get, mm. you know. I get the crossbow as an after, after thought, or an after of post-mortem. Uh, yeah. Um, but I could be wrong, um, you know. Uh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> but the jewel, they show me the jewellery, the necklace, the diamond rings, the, the earrings, the, you know, the fur coat. So she's quite, um, um, she, she enjoyed the opulent, opulence of it. And, uh, you know, um, and she was successful to a certain point, you know, and, um, ended up this way unfortunately got involved with the wrong clientele and uh, got herself into a a, um, a very um, precarious Hell. situation that she couldn't get out of Hell. Hell. is that where you'd like to see these people that done this to you because I know from what I read about you that you you, you were sort of, although you did what you did, it wasn't, it would, you, you felt like you was um, doing something positive for the people that you, you were providing the escort service for. You know, it, it was kind of like a, a, a social workers, but quite the, it, along those lines that you was doing something positive for your clients. So, did one of them, did you feel that one of them started to have a change of heart? Um, maybe treated you with any kind of disrespect, maybe? Is that something that... That's just... Look at it. Yes. I also get... Um a disabled child connection as well with you. Is that correct? Yeah. It seems to be uh, going a bit mental there. That's just gone. Thank you for that. Uh, Patricia, you. thank you. We're trying to help. We, bring we really are. Open. You can talk to us. We, uh, we want this... We want you to rest in peace, my dear, and um, we'll do our best. Yeah, that we will. And you just went off. <laughs> mm. um, so, are, are we on the right lines there? One of your clients had a change of heart, or that—that that was that was what was going on. Um, 
the little there's a little ball that's behind us you can touch that as well it's on my parcel shelf uh, that will also give us an indication mm. yes so okay so what, what do we get there it was one of one of her clients um now were they in a legal profession were they involved in a legal profession is that what happened were they in a legal profession um maybe you had someone who was a, a high profile in the underworld so it was on either side of the tracks was it someone that was high up in the underworld was it someone involved with government the government at the time did you have an mp for example was it an mp that you might have upset Or rather, I, I should say, an MP that that got upset and their they they changed their you know their their, their way they were they, they it changed in any way. Are we touching on something here? I know there is um, more to meet the eye, but um, obviously. We're, we're trying to find out what what really happened to you, yeah. and um, we would like to, as I say, uh, put you to rest in the best way we can. Yeah, because no, no one knows who was behind it. Um, it's under massive speculation who was behind what happened to you. Um. You also had actors. There was actors on your books as well. Mm. So don't don't be afraid to talk to us. You've already sp spoken to my friend Esme. If if the name Esme rings a bell could you give us some acknowledgement what was was the disabled uh person family is that a connection to you you can um you know tell us about that we'd like to know the truth mm. can you set the uh the meter off again if we are on the right track are we on the wrong track have we got that wrong so at the moment let's recap on what you showed me about there was you as a high class call girl you had um some various clients you liked the high life the jewelry the fur coats the money and you was quite successful up to a point you got involved with the wrong clientele um and maybe on the wrong side of the fence uh and they wanted to uh, silence you because you had a record or a black book that was incriminating and I don't know whether you threatened to expose one of them as they got violent with you um, and then this unfortunate set of events unfolded where you was murdered um, strangled or asphyxiated and then other things I've done to you. Uh, 
Um, but um, we need to know if this is the truth. Who was the man that picked you up from your pl from your your flat? Someone turned up at your 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 home. Could you tell us who was that who that was? Someone turned up at your home, didn't they? Is it someone that was connected very strongly with you? Was it a family member? Was it a family member? Was it a family member? Was it anything to do with your ex-husband? Was your ex-husband involved at any point? Was a family member involved in connected in this situation? A friend? Thirty-eight. She was forty-two when she passed, I think. Thirty-eight. Don't know. No. Um. Do you prefer to be called by Patricia, your real name, or do you prefer Lee, or even Pat? Do you prefer Lee Parsons? Do you prefer Pat? She did go by another name, but I can't remember what it was. Or would you like your real name being used, Patricia? Okay, and I'll just remind you, madam, this is Rudy. Hello. Now, when this happened to you, I was about. 14, 15. Now I'm a little, I'm a, a little bit older than what you were when you passed. I'm 47 now. Was there any drugs involved, Patricia? Please talk to us. I thought it was my ball then, it was a bloody ambulance. Yeah. <laughs> we, are, we are recording your voice, so you can speak to yeah. us. Give yeah. us a sign, um, Patricia, we would appreciate that. We yeah. have picked some stuff up, but we need you to verify mm. that. You did, it, was it you that set off the, uh, uh trip, the, uh, the ball in the, on the tree? What you better ask him, huh? Yeah. Patricia, when I first set up over there, was that you that set the ball off, please? They're here. Are we talking about? They're here. Are you referring to the men? They're the here. Men? Is that who you mean? They're here. Is it the men that did what they did to you?
they're here. How many? Can you tell us how many men were involved, please? Was there more than one person that was involved in this? Was there two two men? There was two. Was there three? There was two men that was parked up at the bottom of this road, either side, and over there for hours. I'll get there was a three men. Uh, yeah, the third I one. I think the third one was the one that was with her. That's that's what I get. Three men. Mm. I could be wrong, but yeah, and that's what they're showing me. Three yeah. men. So it, two carried her, and there was another one, sort of, sort of leading the way where they were going to dump her. Mm. Okay, my love. I'm sorry to hear that. I know this is distressing yeah, to go back no. on this all over this again, and this is something that is very difficult. But at least we know. Um, that it's out in the open and it's not a secret no more. No. So we just want to try and get the, the, the real story of what happened to you and potentially who was involved. That might be your phone that's setting this off. Yeah. That might be what was setting it off in the first place. Okay, hang on a minute. Sorry. No, my phone... Okay, what I'll do... Turn it off, yeah? Oh, I'll just put it on and turn data off. Uh, aircraft mode? Yeah, that'll do. Okay, it's on airplane mode. I'm just wondering if it was when you got messages through it done that. No, it's, that's the first message I got. Oh, maybe it wasn't. <laughs> well, it went off in there and all, didn't it? So yeah, yeah. Okay. It's an airplane mode now, so... Uh, anyway, but... Yeah. Alright, um, I'm going to ask you, can you confirm you drove a Volkswagen Golf convertible, please? Can you confirm to us in some way that you had a white Volkswagen Golf convertible? I I don't see it as white. Um, it might have been pearl, but it was. It was an off colour kind of. It might have been off white. Um, a like a beige or a pink, something, something. I don't know. But I mean, the one that was in the pictures was white. Is it? Yeah. Oh, maybe it was. I'll give it another 10 minutes. And... I thought it was an off kind of beige colour, you know, like... Yeah, I know what you mean. Pearly kind of... It, it, it may have been a pearlescent of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And that weren't my fun. So you had a pearlescent white, a, a pearlescent car. It was like a pearly colour. The car that you was found in. Mm. Mm. This is frustrating. Might be a case that come back. You need you need more than one mm. person to verify this. Yeah. What, what, uh, we can put some more energy out as well. And it's raining. You got to, you know. It's like, mm. You need a really sort of. Okay, Patricia. Um, 
if there's anything else you can tell us we'll give you the opportunity now we will come back again what about the dog oh shit I've got to swap out the year power off did you before we go and leave you to, to, to it to your rest did you have a poodle or a dog I see a poodle also with jewels around the collar like a poodle or white kind of dog not necessarily where you are on where where you did move to but maybe when you was with your ex-husband I don't think she had a dog oh, oh, well I don't think she had a dog when there's, there was no mention of it no maybe not okay okay I thought I'd ask thank you yeah God bless alright um, so just want to check would you like us to come back again Patricia when there was be the weather's better it isn't, it isn't easy for us tonight. Wow. This is atrocious, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't think it would be this bad. Well, you picked a real, <laughs> real good night <laughs> to do an investigation, my friend. Oh, no. I couldn't really do it tomorrow night. It's going to be like 2 o'clock in the morning. You do have a neck for this, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Right, Patricia, we will, live, we will wish you love and light. And I hope you rest, rest in peace, my mm. darling, and uh, God bless you. Yeah, and we we'll, we will we will come back again, and we'll we'll try and help you get your exactly what happened to you, and uh, maybe you can find some peace in that. Thanks once again, Patricia. God bless you. Thank you. We really want right. Stella in that. Yeah. So we just pick Esme picked up on so much. Oh yeah. I think she weren't into it. Yeah, um, but trying to get her bloody attention. 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 Mind you, we did get some uh, kits, uh, uh, but whether it was that. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's some bits there. I'll, um. No good? There's some. Oh, shit. Some controversy.